What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. In today's video, I'm doing probably, I think it's my first fall lookbook kind of video. I want to give you guys so much inspo for fall. If you ever don't know what to wear, I want you to be able to come to my channel and just be overwhelmed with options. For today's video, I'm going to be styling one blazer, this blazer, 10 different ways. I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted to see one blazer styled 10 different ways or many different blazers styled, and it was pretty 50-50, so I'm going to do both. In my next styling video, I will show you guys more blazers because they are one of my favorite things to wear in the fall time. I could not wear blazers for a few years. I love them on other people, but on me, I just couldn't wear them, and that's probably because I had to wear a blazer every single day for 15 years at school. Now, my love for blazers has been reignited, and I found my favorite places to shop for blazers. So I'm going to go through those stores in this video. I'm going to tell you guys how to buy the perfect blazer, and of course, I'm going to show you guys 10 outfits to wear this fall. All right, let's get into the video. I just wanna thank Native for sponsoring today's video. I have been a huge fan of Native deodorants for a really, really long time. They have clean ingredients, they're aluminum free, they're paraben free, they have amazing ingredients in it for you. I've switched to clean deodorants without aluminum for a few years now and Native is one of my favorite, absolute favorite brands. Their scents, I have to say, are unmatched. They're vegan and cruelty free, which is always amazing and more importantly, they actually work. I've talked about this many times on my channel before, but if I don't wear deodorant, I smell. I'm a smelly person. My favorite right now is Citrus and Herbal Musk. It smells so good. I want to say that you can really smell the muskiness. It, it kind of smells a little bit more masculine. This one was amazing for summer. It's called Sweet Peach and Nectar. It smells like I just want to take a bite out of it. And lastly, I have lavender and rose. I have a newfound love for lavender. So this is probably the one I've been using the most recently just because I love lavender. Whenever I like lift up my arm, I get a whiff of lavender and it smells so good. So yeah, this one smells very fresh, very pretty, very feminine. I've been really loving this one. As per usual, I have a coupon code for you guys. So you can use the code SUBDALLAS3 to save some money on your deodorants. Here's the coupon details. All the details and links will be in the description box. Now let's get back to the video. There's a few reasons why I love blazers. The first reason is because you can buy one blazer and wear it a billion different ways. You can get so much use and so much wear out of it. You can really make one blazer look so different depending on what you pair it with, your accessories. It is just so versatile. So when it comes to blazers, I don't really mind spending a little bit more money on it. You don't really have to worry about not getting your money's worth because you really will. Blazers are one thing that you will wear over and over and over again and they won't go out of style. The next reason why I just really love blazers is because they are the easiest outfit. You don't know what to wear? Throw in a blazer. Now let's talk about sizing for blazers. So in this video I'm going to be styling oversized blazers. Even if it says this is an oversized blazer, size up because it's never really truly as oversized as you want it to be. I will not even tell you how many times I've bought a blazer where it says it's oversized and it's not. So now let's talk about where to shop for blazers. For me, I always shop at Zara. They have really good affordable blazers. This one was under $100. The quality is amazing. The fit is really, really nice. I got this one from Zara. Um, it is a leather blazer. It is absolutely stunning. I love this blazer to death. This I got in a size small and it fits really nice and oversized. So this is actually one of my new favorite ones that I just got. This is from Princess Polly. I want to say that with Princess Polly, you want to size up with everything. Their stuff it does run pretty small. I think everyone should at least have one blazer in their wardrobe, but if you can have multiple, I would do a black, a neutral, and maybe a pop of color. All right, next we have Express. Express has really good blazers. They have really good dress pants, but blazers in particular. It's like a blush pink satin kind of color. I don't know if you guys can see. And then this one is white. This one I got from Babaton. It's a really nice beigey color, and I love this one with like a white top and jeans. It just is perfect. Misguided also has really amazing affordable blazers. I heard from you guys that Shein has really nice ones, so I will leave affordable blazer options linked down below. I know that was a lot of talking. I'm sorry. I just want to get all of that out um, before I got into the outfits, but now it's time for me to style this blazer 
10 different ways. Okay, so you guys have actually already seen this outfit before in my haul video, but I wanted to put this outfit in here again just to remind you because I've been living in this outfit basically. Don't mind my pale legs. I did not have a chance to self-tan them. So this is just like a little jumpsuit from Aritzia. I absolutely love it. I threw on this blazer on top. I love that it goes a little bit longer than the jumpsuit. And then I threw it on with these chunky boots. As per usual, I know these are not everyone's cup of tea, not everyone's style, but you could always throw them on with a pair of chunky sneakers or loafers, combat boots, whatever you want. And then I just threw it on with a little gold and black backpack. Just like with any outfit, my favorite thing to do and my favorite way to take your outfit from here to here is to accessorize, to throw on a ton of jewelry. So I have my necklaces on, my earrings on, my watch on. I just think accessories whether it be jewelry or a clip in your hair can really take your outfit to the next level. And again, a perfect way to wear your summer outfits and your summer clothes in the fall time. Okay, so this next outfit, I have the blazer paired with a fun top. This one is from Zara. I love the details on it. In the summertime, when it was a little bit warmer outside, I would wear just this with the leather pants. But as a way to kind of still wear my summer outfits in the fall, I just threw on the blazer on top. If you wanted to, you could throw on a full leather blazer to have like a full leather suit moment but these pants are from Aritzia they are the Melina pants I got the short version they are in a size 4 and I really love them I love how they fit and then I have paired it with just these little mules from L'Interval but if you wanted to if it got a little bit too cool outside you could always throw them on with a pair of boots so yeah I love pairing blazers with leather pants and like I said you could have a full leather moment you know what I'll show you guys <laughs> So this leather blazer, like I said, is from Zara. It doesn't match the pants perfectly, but it does kind of give you the idea of what it would look like. Just a full leather suit. It's so funny because my mom used to have like a beautiful brown leather suit. And I would make fun of her every time I went in the closet and look at me now. I love pairing blazers with very casual outfits, so I threw on a Nike cap. And then I just have honestly like the most basic outfit underneath. I have a little black tank top on um, and some leggings. And I just threw the blazer on over top. And then for shoes, I have the chunky white sneakers to kind of tie in the white on my hat. All black for fall is just the move. It's the way to go. It makes me feel so good. Whenever I'm having like a bloated day or if I'm getting my period, all black. So this is my favorite outfit um, where I still feel really cool. I feel put together, but I'm so comfortable. So on me, this blazer is actually long enough to wear as a dress, so that's what I did. I threw on some black sheer tights. I just got these at Walmart, and then I threw on these combat boots. This outfit would also look really pretty with like a pair of heels if you wanted to, or these loafers right here. I just picked up a great dupe from Princess Polly, but here I just paired it with some chunky combat boots I just got from H&M. I like them because they are chunky. You can see like around... The toes and everything but they're not too chunky um, so I feel like more people would be able to wear them or be comfortable wearing them the tights are perfect for fall I mean they're paper thin so they're not really adding any warmth but I love how they look one of the perks of being short like me is being able to wear most oversized blazers like dresses or you can opt for a blazer dress this is my number one favorite way to wear a blazer I think I talked about this in one of my last hauls but this will be my uniform for the fall time basically it's just loose baggy jeans a plain white top and an oversized blazer I also love it paired with a shoulder bag I don't know I just love this whole oversized vibe of course if you're not into these oversized jeans I'm going to show you guys with a pair of fitted jeans and heels but here I just have on some chunky sneakers but I love a good pair of like mom or dad jeans when you don't know what to wear throw on this outfit and I promise you you will feel amazing also let's say you're wearing this during the day if you want to just switch out your sneakers or your boots for a pair of heels you can totally wear this to dinner we are starting with a beautiful button down dress it definitely needs a good steam but i just love a good button down dress i love contrasting white with black i threw it on with some below the knee kind of boots i personally like below the knee boots more than thigh high boots i feel they might are a little bit classier and they also give me like the cowboy boot vibes which are very in right now this is with the blazer over the shoulder super cute and this is with the blazer on. I always put the collar and the sleeves over the blazer. I just think it looks super cute. You don't have to, but that's how I prefer to wear it. And then everything else is the same. 
Okay, so this outfit was inspired by Instagram. I feel like I've seen every single person wear a sweatsuit with their blazer. Of course, this sweatsuit is from Aritzia. It's not the exact sweatsuit I wanted to wear. I still love a hood over the blazer. I think that's very cute. So this is just a little sweatsuit from Aritzia, same blazer of course. It was just a pair of chunky sneakers from Princess Polly. For this next outfit, I threw on this white little knit turtleneck. I tried throwing on a chunky knit sweater, but it did not fit the arms of this blazer. If your blazer has wider arms, I think a chunky knit sweater would look so cute with the jeans. So I just threw on this like little knit turtleneck. I love putting my jewelry on top of turtlenecks. I threw on a tighter fit pair of jeans. And then for my boots, I actually switched things up because I've been wearing a lot of black boots and black shoes in this video. I threw on some white boots because it th I thought it just tied really nicely with the white top. I personally am not a huge fan of pairing black with many colors. I think black looks best with gray, white, black, and like those kind of tones. Okay, so this is the outfit without the blazer. It is just um, a black skirt, which is kind of like the same material as the blazer. A black turtleneck. I wanted to tie in some neutral tones, so I threw on some cognac colored leather thigh-high boots. This outfit by itself is super adorable but I'll show you guys with the blazer. I love the blazer paired with this skirt because it looks like it came as a set, like they were meant to be together. I do love brown and black paired together. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I personally really do like it. Okay, so I love a black blazer paired with a graphic tee. I actually don't own that many graphic tees, but this one is long enough to wear as a dress. So I threw it on under as a dress. I threw the blazer on top and then I paired it with some thigh high boots. These are from Express. They're like a suede material. So here I have that same top paired with some leather leggings and some mules. These leather leggings are actually from Walmart. I just picked them up. They're really nice and thick and they feel really good quality. thought for like a little bit of an edgier look, I wanted to pair it with some leather leggings. I'm not too sure how I feel about this one. I don't know if you could even really see it, but I wanted to test it out because I've been seeing it all over Instagram. It's where you layer a flannel with a blazer. I'm not sure how I feel. I feel like it kind of just looks like I'm maybe wearing a scarf. This is just like a green and black kind of flannel. I don't know. I've been seeing it all over Instagram, like the layering of the blazers. Definitely keeps you very warm. So if it is a little bit too cold for just the blazer, you can throw a flannel on also. But I don't know. I think I just prefer it like either just the blazer or just the... Hello, and we have a bonus outfit because I am going shopping today for furniture. I put this outfit on and I just really, I'm loving it. I got a new pair of shoes and I wanna show you guys um, to go with the blazer. So this is the full outfit. Same blazer, of course. This tank top is a racer tank top from Zara. These shorts are from Dish. They are my favorite shorts ever. They're like a charcoal black color. Lots of gold jewelry as usual. And then these shoes are kind of ugly not gonna lie but they are a perfect dupe for the Prada shoes that everyone is wearing right now they're from Princess Polly so I will leave a link down below and then I just have a little black bag all my outfits as I was editing this video I was like you just have a bunch of all black outfits so if you like all black this video is for you. All right, you guys, so that is how I styled this blazer 10 different ways. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said before, I will leave this blazer along with all the ones I showed and any that I find online linked down below. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every single week. I promise more fashion videos are coming. Thank you, Native, for sponsoring today's video. I will leave the link down below with my coupon code, and I will see you guys back here next time.